Meteorologists at the National Weather Service in central Alabama say the storms headed our way do have the potential to cause similar damage. And WVUA's Daniel Sparkman sat down with the meteorologist in charge at the National Weather Service's forecast office in Calera to find out what you can do to be ready. We still could have long track tornadoes tomorrow and unfortunately we can't tell whether they're going to be violent or not, but the potential is there. National Weather Service meteorologist in charge Jim Stefkovich says being prepared is key. When it comes to having a severe weather plan, people need to have it in place before the severe weather even starts. When a warning is issued, that's not the time to figure out what should I do or where should I go. And Stefkovich says it's not just tornadoes that can twist and turn a life upside down. A lot of people are just amazed that those amount of trees go down in straight line winds and that's absolutely the case. With this event unfolding before us, we're going to probably have the combination of both tornadoes and strong straight line winds and those straight line winds can mimic strong tornadoes at times. So that's why we want people to take both warnings seriously. So the bottom line is anytime a warning is issued, whether it's a severe thunderstorm or a tornado warning, you want to get into a inside of a sturdy structure. You want to get out away from your vehicle, get into that sturdy structure, get to the lowest floor possible, put in many walls between you and the outside as possible. He says tomorrow's storms could affect much of West Alabama and areas to the north. For this event, it really looks like from areas Demopolis, Montgomery, over towards Alexander City, northward, so really the northern two-thirds of the state is really going to be under the gun tomorrow. And if you've ever wondered why the spring is such an active time for severe weather, here's the simple explanation. Stefkovich says the warm spring air replacing the cold winter air can clash, resulting in storms. In Calera, Daniel Sparkman, WVUA News. Stefkovich says another important item to, item to have is a NOAA weather radio. The radios can wake you up when a warning happens in the overnight hours. Of course, the WVA weather team will be here watching the storms and bringing you all the very latest when a warning is issued.